Today we are going to looking at 10 best MCU villains. Ranking MCU villains can be subjective, as different fans have different favourites based on their personal preferences. However, this list based on their impact on the MCU storyline character development and reception. Here's our list of 10 memorable MCU villains. Note that we only considering the villains originated within the MCU. Number 10 is Wen Wu from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, also known as the Real Mandarin played by the legend of Hong Kong cinema Tony Leung. The real Mandarin that Marvel fans had been dying to see in the movies was a conquering warlord and owner of the legendary Ten Rings. Wen Wu's motivation is enough to make him tragic and sympathetic, as he's being manipulated by the film's real villain into thinking that he can reunite with his dead wife. However, he's also a ruthless crime lord and a terrible father, despite his admittedly touching redemptive arc at the end of the movie. Number 9 is Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. Created by Tony Stark in Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron becomes a formidable threat to the Avengers and humanity as a whole. His quest to bring about peace through mass extinction makes him a memorable adversary. Ultron's presence in the MCU has lasting consequences, influencing the events of subsequent films and serving as a cautionary tale about the dangers of artificial intelligence and unchecked power. Number 8 is Hela from Thor Ragnarok, also known as the Goddess of Death. Hela presents a formidable threat to Asgard and its people. Her power and ruthlessness make her one of the most memorable villains in the Thor series. Hela's character in Thor Ragnarok adds depth to the MCU's mythology, exploring themes of power, ambition, and the consequences of unchecked tyranny, making her one of the standout AMs the most powerful villains in the MCU. Number 7 is Zemo from Captain America Civil War. Zemo is one of Marvel Comics' most iconic villains, which made fans delighted when he was introduced into the movies in Captain America Civil War. A victim of the Avengers' unchecked behaviour, he set an intricate revenge plan in motion that successfully broke the superhero team. Zemo is one of the franchise's most human and sympathetic antagonists, having lost his family to the Avengers' actions in Age of Ultron. He's a clever and conniving man with a mysterious agenda, which definitely makes him dangerous and hard to root for, while easy to understand where he's coming from. Number 6 is The High Evolutionary from Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, the most recent MCU entry, at the time of writing has received more than enough praise as one of the franchise's highest points, and that's in no small degree thanks to Chukwudi Iwuji's High Evolutionary, a cruel geneticist who dreams of building a utopia. There is absolutely nothing to not hate about the High Evolutionary, one of the franchise's most purely evil villains. He sees animals like Rocket Raccoon as lower life forms and is willing to use them to his will in the chase of his utopia, as well as dispose of anyone who gets in the way. He's perhaps the most unlikable MCU villain, but that doesn't make him any less than great. Number 5 is Alexander Pierce from Captain America The Winter Soldier. Alexander Pierce is a significant antagonist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In Captain America, The Winter Soldier, it is revealed that Pierce is actually a Hydra sleeper agent who has infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. Alexander Pierce serves as a complex and compelling villain in the MCU, embodying themes of corruption, betrayal and the dangers of unchecked power. His role in Captain America the Winter Soldier contributes significantly to the film's themes of espionage, political intrigue, and the consequences of sacrificing freedom for security. Number four is The Winter Soldier from Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Initially introduced as a brainwashed assassin in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. The Winter Soldier, becomes a significant antagonist for Captain America. His complex relationship with Steve Rogers adds emotional depth to his character, even though later he became one of the Avenger. The manipulated Winter Soldier version of Bucky Barnes always one of the scariest and ruthless villain in the MCU. Number 3 is Killmonger from the Black Panther. Eric Killmonger in Black Panther is often regarded as one of the most compelling villains in the MCU. His motivations are driven by a desire to seek justice for the oppressed. 
Although he's definitely the antagonist in Black Panther, Killmonger's motivations are too complex to label him an outright villain. His thirst for vengeance and willingness to do absolutely anything to achieve his selfish goals make him tough to sympathize with. But it's also fair to say that he had some valid points. He just didn't know what to do with them. Number two is Loki. As the franchise has progressed, Tom Hiddleston's Loki has defined himself as more of an occasionally heroic anti-hero, but near the beginning of the MCU. Also, the main antagonist of the first Avengers movie. Despite his past actions and his inherently mischievous nature, however, Loki has made up for it with his selfless acts and one of the franchise's best redemptive arcs. The fans love him, and the creatives behind the MCU clearly think that his character still has a lot more to give, making him arguably the best anti-hero in the whole franchise. Please subscribe and like the video if you love this far. Bloody hell, bloody hell. Number one is... You all know it, it's Thanos. Serving as the primary antagonist in both Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, Thanos is one of the most iconic, arguably the best villain in the superhero genre. Thanos was a warlord of Ross the planet Titan, whose idea of making the universe a more stable place was to wipe out half of its population, which he thought was overabundant to the extreme. Thanos's motivation is nuanced and interesting enough to make him the kind of villain you love to hate and admire, but a genocidal warmonger who will do absolutely anything to achieve what he seeks. Thanos is a real treat to see in action, a hero of his own story, and one of the greatest cinematic villain of all time. What do you think about our picks for top 10 best MCU villains? Agree or disagree, let us know in the comment box. Please like and don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates. See you next week.